Once upon a time, there were three girls, Jules, Kay, and Sasha, or for short, Satsuma Ruma. Yeah, well, I mean, I think at the end of the day, you know, you've got Bob Dylan, you've got Satsuma Ruma. They both wrote all their own lyrics. Where's their Nobel Prize? That's what I want to know. Back in the 80s, it was just all about Satsuma Ruma for me. And they were like the ultimate girl power icons. Well, I mean, no one was under the impression it was IR. You know what I mean? It was crap. But, you know, people bought it, so everyone was happy. Since their debut in 1982, Satsu and Maruma have been at the top of the charts. Maybe once. But now, they are ready to emerge from their 18-year hiatus. They are ready to splash back and take the world by storm. This is the Splashback Story. Satsu Maruma! Here we join the three familiar princesses, some years into their happily ever after. El's just taken himself off to Morocco to buy another load of flying carpets. Oh, oh what more? Alea has really taken off. Oh, who knew Ooh. there was such a big market for such a flying carpet flight? <laughs> and he's left me with another job lot of lamps to polish. Mm. Oh, Gaston said he'd got some things that needed wubbing and going round this afternoon to help him. Mm. No, doesn't Beastie Boy mind? Oh, no, he, no, he doesn't. He's going for an ear, nose and throat trim to the barbers. <laughs> Is that all? Oh, he'd have to have a full body wax daily before I'd let him anywhere near me. Well, at least I don't need seven little men to keep me satisfied. Oh, bless them. Mind you, they are getting on a bit now, aren't they? Mm. Gummy, wrinkly, squirty, flabby, saggy, farty, and oh, little leaky. <laughs> but how's the prince these days? Oh, he's on some reforesting conservation project with that wretched woodcutter. I haven't seen him for the last two months. That must be very hard for you. Well, I see Beastie Boy every day, but Gaston does get upset because he's on his own. He's always so relieved to see me. You're so lucky. Oh, but Jazzy D, you've always got Aladdin. Aladdin? Oh, <laughs> lad in. Oh, right. I think it's time for me to go. Mm, me oh. too. Oh, but where are we going for our girls' night out? Mm. Leave it with me. I'll ask Gaston. He knows all the best places. <laughs> hey, Andrew, Satsuma Ruma reunion, take one. You will never guess who has just been in my award-winning hair and beauty salon. My dear old friend, Amanda Holden. She said to me, Kay, when are we going to see Satsuma Ruma back in the charts? Although she thought perhaps Jules and Saoirse were probably past their sell-by dates. Anyway, that got me thinking. I am sure I could do wonders with them in my salon. But first of all, I have to track them down. The last I heard of Jules, she was living on her mushroom farm down in Devon. And I know that Saoirse was working with Larry Less, the music producer. But that all seems to have gone a bit quiet. Whack one, gal. Wicked night last night with a gal down, Minnie. <laughs> what happening, girl? Cool night last night with the girls in it. Banging. Safe. Witch up some buff boys, isn't it? Good, cool. We chatted up some good-looking men. Check out these crips. They're well nang. Uh, check out the shoes. They're well cool. Bless up. Thank you. Oh, oh, oh. That outfit is beast. Oh, oh, oh. That outfit is really good. Bless up. Thank you. Did you see that man of Shelley down the market? Too whist. Uh, did you see that ugly Shelley down the market? Clues. She was so wavy at the wheat sheaf last night. Chirps in with Tarquin. Uh, she was so drunk at the wheat sheaf last night, flirting with Tarquin. Tarquin? Tarquin. Tarquin is well chung, in it? He's extremely good looking, in it. And Dench. <gasps> 
we should run with Tarquin. Have a joke like, bit of a ting thing. And Strong, we should hang out with Tarquin. Have some fun. Bit of a flirt. He's such a tonk and dapper. He's so muscular and smart. I wouldn't say no to a mashing. I'd really like to have intercourse. Farewell. Been there. They're well rinsed. Bothered. Morning, Marissa. Oh, morning, Maureen. No Marcella today, then? Not yet. She sent me a message to say she's just fixing her drawers and she'll be here in a minute. Oh, I had trouble getting mine on this morning. Oh, sorry I'm late. Oh, hello. <laughs> I hear your pants are falling down. Oh, I'm not wearing any pants. No, I've been busy waxing. Well, it was my flaps, they're all jammed up, so I've had to use a lubricant. Oh, what did you use? Beeswax. Oh, didn't that sting a bit, love? No, no, I wore gloves. Uh, rubber gloves? No, I wore my sheepskin mittens, because I thought I could give the knob a, a polish up at the same time. Oh, so is the knob all shiny now? Oh, yes, it's gleaming. Well, Arnold had to pull the flaps back in order to sort of yank it out. It was so jammed up. You never guess what caused it. No, I don't suppose we would. It was my auntie's crocheted angel off the Christmas tree that I mislaid in 1974. <laughs> oh, look, the bus is coming. Good news. I managed to track Jules down. Well, she wasn't keen at first to reform the band, but when I explained to her how much crap, sorry, <laughs> fertiliser she would be able to buy with the royalties, Jules was in. Dragging Saoirse away from Larry Less was a little bit more tricky, but the law of a possible appearance on Strictly tipped the scales. 